Close your eyes and focus on the breath. Make this your home right now. You're gonna, not going to leave your home unless there's something really important. And for the next few minutes there's nothing else that's really important. So stay right here. Get used to being right here. Try to make this a comfortable place. Notice how the breath is feeling as it comes in, as it goes out. If it feels good, keep breathing the way you're breathing. If not, you can change. This is one of the nice things about the breath is that you can adjust it, just like adjusting the thermostat in your house. When things are too hot in the house, you can turn on the air conditioner. When things are too cold, you can turn on the heat. Raise and lower the thermostat as you like. And it's the same with the breath. You can make it any length you want, and any depth you want. Fast, slow, broad, narrow, heavy, light. You got to choose exactly what you want. This is why we say this is like your home. It's not like a house, we, as we say in English. It takes a lot of living to make a house a home. Well, this can be your home. It's not just a, the body where you're hanging out, but you can adjust things. So the mind really does like staying here, because it's very important that it stay here. Because all the decisions you're making in life are being made right here, and if you're not here, then it means the, the servants are making the decisions. The mice in the walls are making the decisions. In other words, the decisions are being made, but it's not very conscious, and not, without, not with a lot of awareness. And so there are bound to be poor decisions being made, things you do just out of the force of habit. So you want to bring awareness here into the present moment, bring your alertness here into the present moment, like a searchlight. You can see clearly all the movements of the mind, where you're going, when you look at something, when you listen, when you taste, touch, smell something. What's the purpose? Because, of course, a lot of things you see simply because they're passing in front of your eyes, but a lot of times you look at this and you focus attention here. The same with the things you listen to, the same things with you choose to eat or not, not to eat. What's this doing to the mind? In other words, it's like searching everybody who comes in and out of the house. The things that come in, what impact do they have inside the house? And when you make decisions to act, what effect is that going to have not only on the neighborhood, but also back into the house again? You want to see these things clearly, because this is what's shaping your life. There's, nothing, there's no outside force shaping your life. Aside from the actions you do right now, when the Buddha is talking about karma, even when he talks about karma over the, psych over the course of many, many world cycles, he always brings the discussion back to the fact that it's the karma you're making right here, right now, as you choose to look at something or not look at something, to think about something or not think about something. That's what's really important. That's what shapes your life. So you, you want to give it a good shape, a shape that goes in a good direction. So pay a lot of attention right here. Learn how to be at home right here, because you're going to be here for a long time as you learn to get to know your mind. So make sure that you're here with a sense of stability and a sense of you're not just enduring it, because you're learning how to make it pleasant. This is the secret to all endurance, is you find that there's some pleasure to be found in whatever you're doing. Focus on that, and that way you can stick with any job especially this job, which is the job of cleaning up your mind, stopping the suffering you've been causing yourself and other people. This is an important job. It's a big job, but it's really worthwhile taking it on, because it doesn't lie beyond the power of us human beings to do this. As the Buddha said, if we couldn't develop the qualities he told us to develop, he wouldn't be saying that to anybody. If we couldn't abandon the things he told us to abandon, then he wouldn't tell us to abandon them. But the fact is, we can do this. But you need to know how to gather your strength in a way so that it can be in it for the long, long haul. So that's why we focus on the breath and adjust the breath as one step in making this a really good place to stay. <laughs>